Want this? Galapaga. First, prepare your clips. Select your main layer, duplicate it, and remove any twixter or zoom you added. Trim it to one frame. Now, select the rotor brush tool, set the preview resolution to full, and double click the layer. Or you can use the pen tool to mask the character. Start painting to your character, and if you need to remove any unwanted areas, just hold Alt and paint over them. Once it's done, hit freeze frame. Right click on the layer time freeze frame. Go back about 40-50 frames and stretch it out. Add a keyframe for scale. Press Y to switch to the anchor point tool and move the anchor to the bottom middle. Set the scale to 10. Easy ease the keyframes and follow my graph. Make sure motion blur is turned on for a smoother result. speckle effect on the layer and follow my values. Change the frequency to 25. Add a keyframe for the dissolve percentage. Set it to 100. Then go to the beat and set it to 0. Easy ease the keyframes. Now for the shake part. Add a new adjustment layer on top and trim it just like I do. Apply S. Shake to the adjustment layer. If you see black edges, add motion tile. Enable mirror edges, drag motion tile to the top and follow my settings. adjustment layer on the clip. Trim it according to your clip. Add twitch on the adjustment layer and follow my values. Set a keyframe for amount. Go around 20 frames forward. And change it to zero. Easy ease the keyframes. And follow my graph. Now add a white flash on the beat.
cutout transition is done. That's it for this tutorial. Bye bye.